And we welcome back to uh, Janky Kang. Um, we're finally back to our home island, and it's all snowy and shit. But uh, hey, it's not hey, Christmas. Hey, Brian. Despite uh, Brian. What, what? Your deck's unbalanced, and your hair's a Karibo. Well, that's very hurtful of you to say, <laughs> Ariel. <laughs> it's very hurtful indeed. In fact, is that it's why so you horrible. Shaved your hair? I think I might have to rap. I'm not rapping. <laughs> <laughs> is that why you shaved your hair off so you wouldn't look like a Karibo? <laughs> I, you know, I don't know what went through my head <laughs> that that ultimately led me shaving my head, not not my head, my <laughs> shaving my hairstyle. I really don't know. I I I need to go back and look at my Facebook to determine like what date <laughs> I fucking I I I, I cut it off. <laughs> Uh, for background information, I used to have a very exotic hairstyle in high school. <laughs> I was it, known for it. <laughs> it was almost an afro, but, like, not really. But kind of like a visor? <laughs> it was like an afro that decided to go flat halfway through. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was quite the spectacle. I don't think anyone really knew what to make of it, myself included. <laughs> and and I, only, I only wore it like that because I just wanted to see what happened if I stopped cutting my hair. And that's what happened! Yeah, because that's probably also what happened when you stopped brushing your hair. Right! <laughs> exactly, so, yeah. Um, but I decided to cut it off one day, and I don't remember why! <laughs> Maybe because you needed to brush your hair and you couldn't? No, no, that wasn't it, because I still don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but now you just shaved it off so you don't have to. Right, yeah, but... Uh, Ryan, why did you sit there for so long? I was timing it! I was so ready. It was it was it was perfect. Everything was all aligned. And then I got a text and it distracted me. <laughs> Can we talk about how this ecosystem is going to be ruined like forever? Oh yeah, it's fucked. Like they 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 I don't even know why we came back. There's no point. Like even if they go away, everything's dead. <laughs> yeah. Like, it wasn't designed like normal plants to die and then come back to life. Which I guess would technically make all, uh, all plants zombies now that I think about it. <laughs> I mean, if they're designed to be, like, in a near-death hibernation in the winter, does that really make them zombies? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep, because I say so. That <laughs> Alright, you know what? You're, you're the engineer. Uh, yeah, I'm the engineer, so I'm the resident botany expert as well. <laughs> clearly, clearly! Hey, as we established in Hotaru no Niki, if you are a scientist, you can do any science! <laughs> exactly! It makes sense. It's correct. That's, That's exactly correct. how it works. Nobody mm -hmm. can fucking question me. So, uh, don't, don't, don't. Hey, shouldn't Donkey Kong be suffering from the effects of hypothermia at this point? Well, he has fur and shit! Yeah, right? but he, he got it wet, and then he's been rolling around in ice and shit. No, Ariel's fine. He has a tie. But he's not even meant for icy weather. <laughs> but he looks professional! <laughs> he's ready for his interview! Ariel he's not ready for his interview because he's not wearing pants! <laughs> Ariel monkeys. Oh my god, that's not how pants. this works! Monkeys don't need pants, though. And you're right, that's exactly not how this works. <laughs> if he was pulling that hard, he would pull himself through the floor. Because <laughs> of that little thing called Noonstar Law Motion. <laughs> Ryan, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, I'm talking about, you know, the uh, for every action. Right, I was cool. joking! <laughs> well... I'm just trying to educate the viewers. Maybe we'll get more views if we can break into YouTube's educational sector. I feel like no. We already taught people that all plants are zombies. We're on our way. And that all meta materials are just meta night antennas. <laughs> meta night antennas. Oh my god. I, I swear to god. Like, if I have to give a presentation on this next paper... <laughs> I'm saying that. I'm leading with that. I'm gonna have a picture of Meta Knight, 
And it's, it's going that's to be just no. All you have to do is like we all know that meta materials are basically like meta knights. They are small, <laughs> but they pack a big punch. <laughs> God damn it! If my audience were gamers, that would work. <laughs> Ryan, it's like 2018. All scientists are gamers. <laughs> okay, but a lot of the people in my field are old. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> so I don't, I don't think they would get it, and then my advisor would be really confused, and then I had to explain it to him. Like, you know, it'd be one thing if I never had to see any of these people again, but, <laughs> but the, I, so that's I, what I'm... you need to do for your dissertation. <laughs> right, right before you graduate. <laughs> Later, loser! <laughs> I do fully intend to fuck off the second I graduate, though. <laughs> like, academia is not for me. Even if I did have a tie, like Donkey Kong, it is I'm not for me. I'm pretty sure you do own a tie. I now, it's a... not a tie that says BV on it, but you do own a tie. <laughs> I, I know own... you do, because we went to private school. <laughs> yeah, and we needed that shit. You're right. You're right. But still. <laughs> I but actually still. learned how to tie a tie just from watching the male students hurriedly tie their tie before the bell rang for first period. <laughs> like shit, I tied it in the car, man. <laughs> no, no, they would walk into class, put their shit down, tie it, sit down, and the bell would ring. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it! For people who didn't go to private school, um, once school was actually in session, that's when you could get written up for uniform violations. But before that, fair game. You could walk around naked. Everything would be fine. <laughs> okay, no, not that. <laughs> Box naked! Although what's hilarious, though, is it doesn't mean that the teachers who were famous for giving out things... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, so one of my friends and I, first of all, if you didn't go to private school, nobody actually tucks their shirts in, except for the fucking losers, alright? Don't I tuck your shirt, shirt in, okay? I tuck my shirt in. Yeah, because you're a loser. Okay, but I tuck my shirt in. <laughs> okay, I am going to preface this by saying, it's weirder with the skirts Well, try yeah, and tuck no. your shirt in. Because the if you tuck your shirt kinda... into your skirts... The skirts are designed to come all the way up to your belly button for some goddamn reason. Which is why everyone rolls their skirts. <laughs> they, they were pretty stupid. No, they weren't even really skirts. They were no, like, they made them culottes things? because there were too many girls walking around rolling their skirts and wearing thongs. Which I still don't fully understand that. Um. <laughs> okay, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. That was before my time. Yeah, I mean, it was before I got there, too, but I heard it from whispers of people who had older siblings. <laughs> God damn. Um, but anyway, so we had our skirts, and the way they were cut is to come, like, all the way past your belly button, and then all the way to, like, two inches above your knee. Nobody wants to wear that, except for Sam. <laughs> Actually, I think she did roll her skirt, but Suna didn't. <laughs> So yeah, that, not. That, make, that makes sense. <laughs> um, but, so, I rolled my skirt, too. Because nobody wants to wear their skirt like they're fucking 80 years old, okay? So, but when you roll your skirt, you can't, like, tuck your shirt in. And even if you were, weren't rolling your shirt, then you have your skirt tucked into your armpits. Or your shirt tucked into your armpits, and it looks stupid. So we would roll our skirts, and we would tuck our shirts under. So we would basically roll the bottom of our shirts, too. And you know what? That was enough for most teachers. <laughs> but you had to be careful because as you're walking, they would kind of come unrolled and then they would be untucked. Now, this wasn't a problem if you were, uh, had befriended one of the teachers who normally would write people up for that. Now, my senior year, one of my friends and I were in the class of one of the notorious uniform write-up people. Or no. Mm. I was in junior year, and she was in senior year. Um, and he walked past, and, like, the people, the girls in front of us were, like, tucking their shirts in. <laughs> and then we just walked past, and he was just like, hey. And we were like, hey. And they looked back at us with our shirts, like, fully untucked, and they were like, what the fuck? <laughs> you know it! 
<laughs> it's like, hey, it, it pays to have the teachers like you, okay? <laughs> That's great. Yeah. That's, that is actually great. <laughs> I know there were some other times where we'd be sitting, standing there with our shirts on to and you'd be like, come on, guys. <laughs> Tuck your shirt, and we're like, eh. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I am... <laughs> Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, see, yeah, I never dealt with that because I, I just took my shirt in because we, we wore pants, so because it wasn't a problem. Loser. To be honest, um, I wore pants a lot of the times because um, after sophomore year, I believe, um, they made a rule where you couldn't wear knee socks anymore. Right, I remember um, that. And Tara was really mad because she had bought... She had bought, bought, she had yes. bought a, a wide assortment of knee socks. Yes, and as <laughs> private school girls, we use knee socks to express ourselves. Right. I still have, like, ten of my knee socks. Mm -hmm. But from that point forward, you had to wear tights. And then from that point forward, the next year, you had to wear uniform tights. So, I wore pants a lot, because the girls were allowed to wear pants, but we didn't have to wear a tie. Um, which, strangely enough, we actually complained about, only because our uniforms looked terrible. <laughs> <laughs> we're like, uh, okay, look, uh, if we're gonna wear a uniform, it can at least be cute, guys. <laughs> but no, Wait. we got ugly-ass blue, baby blue shirts, and ugly-ass baby pink shirts, and ugly-ass piss yellow shirts, <laughs> and fucking khaki-ass pants. Were the, were the girls' uniforms, like, different colors than the boys? No. Oh, Don't okay, you remember well. I would wear, like, the same color pants as you, man? Well, yeah, no, like... They were just women's were... cuts, and they had the logo in a different place so that they could tell if you weren't wearing uniform pants. Right. <laughs> Yeah, like, like, junior or senior year, they moved the logo down to mid-thigh instead of, like, the butt pocket. <laughs> yeah, probably probably for the best. <laughs> yeah. But I think men's, it was still on the, like, butt pockets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, um, that's, that's pretty typical. <laughs> um, what the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> but, when... in the background... Oh yeah, no, um, we were talking about the ecosystem. Some weird shit has been happening. <laughs> yeah, yeah, one, one last thing. So, you know, we got ugly ass, the boys were most likely to wear blue, the baby blue shirt, and the khaki pants, which I absolutely hate the khaki pants. I had a pair, I hated them, but I wore them anyway when my black pants were dirty. Um, I don't think I had a yellow shirt, or if I did, I never wore it, because, again, it was fucking piss yellow. Um, I wore the white shirt a lot, and I had a long sleeve blue shirt. But on top of that, guys, we had two kinds of sweaters. Not, not like blazers or anything that was actually cool, no, we had sweaters. <laughs> we had a pullover sweater, or a cardigan, a button-down cardigan. And these were available in black or gray. Which you might notice doesn't fucking match anything. <laughs> right. <laughs> and our skirt was um, plaid, obviously, with um, maroon, gray, like maroon, gray, white, yellow, fucking pink plaid. It's really not pleasant looking plaid. <laughs> so, our biggest complaint was that our uniform looked fucking ugly. Like, for real. And then you're gonna take <laughs> away our knee socks? No, come on. Brian, plug in your goddamn bag. No! <laughs> I'm doing it in protest now. For the <laughs> knee socks. For the <laughs> knee socks. Now, what's hilarious is Brian may or may not remember this. Is men were not supposed to wear athletic ankle cut socks. You know, those ones that don't come above the shoe, the no-show socks. Right. I didn't have any socks. Didn't like fucking stop me! <laughs> I mean, were they even looking for it for you? Well, when you're wearing pants, the women had the same, the same oh. rules. Also, okay. I didn't tell I did this part. 
if you got viol uh, got a uniform violation for rolling your skirt too much, too many times, you would get pantsed. By which I mean you would get in trouble and have to wear pants for the rest of the school year. <laughs> yeah, they were keep they were keep track of that shit. I know I know people who got pants. <laughs> I did not get pants. I just wore pants because ninety percent of the time I didn't want to wear tights. It's too much work, man. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, tune in next time for more of the ins and outs of the private school uniforms. <laughs> Maybe. No promises. <laughs>